Welcome to our tutorial on building interactive dashboards with Python and Dash. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of creating a dynamic web application that visualizes data using the Dash framework. We're going to dive into the world of web development with Python. Specifically, we'll be using Dash, a powerful framework for building interactive web applications. Let's get started by breaking down the code step by step. First, we import the necessary libraries, Dash, Pandas, and Plotly. Dash provides the framework for our web app, Pandas helps us handle data, and Plotly enables us to create interactive visualizations. 1. Import Dash This imports the Dash web application framework for Python, which is used to build interactive web applications. 2. From Dash import HTML This imports the HTML components module from Dash which is used to create the structure of the web page. 3. From Dash Import DCC, this imports the Dash Core Components module, which includes interactive components like dropdowns and graphs. 4. From Dash Dot Dependencies Import Input, Output, this imports the Input and Output classes from the Dependencies module, which are used to define callback functions that update the app's content based on user input. 5. Import pandas as pd this imports the pandas library, which is used for data manipulation and analysis. 6. Import plotly.graph underscore objects as go this imports the graph objects module from the plotly library, which is used to create and customize interactive visualizations. Next, we define two sample datasets and create pandas data frames to store them. These datasets will be used to populate our dashboard with data. Data 1 and Data 2 These are dictionaries containing sample data for two datasets, each with categories and corresponding values. DF1 and DF2 These are pandas data frames created from Data 1 and Data 2, respectively, to store the sample data. Now, let's define the layout of our dashboard. We'll create a title, a description, a drop-down menu to select between datasets, and a placeholder for the graph. App equals dash. Dash underscore underscore name underscore underscore this initializes a dash app with the name of the current module app layout this defines the layout of the web app using html and dash components it includes a title a description a drop down menu and a placeholder for the graph moving on to the callback function this is where the magic happens we define a function that updates the graph based on the selected data set from the drop down menu at app callback this decorator defines a callback function that updates the graph based on the value selected in the drop-down menu. The callback function takes the selected dataset as input and returns an updated graph accordingly. Depending on the chosen dataset, it generates both bar and line charts to visualize the data. Def update underscore graph, selected underscore dataset. This is the callback function that takes the selected dataset as input and returns the updated graph based on the selected dataset. If selected underscore dataset equals equals dataset one colon and elif selected underscore dataset equals equals dataset two colon these conditional statements determine which dataset to use based on the selected value in the drop down menu. Return DCC graph. This returns a dash graph component based on the selected dataset, including both bar and line charts. Finally, we run the app using the development server provided by Dash. This allows us to view our dashboard in the web browser and interact with it in real time. If underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals underscore underscore main underscore underscore colon this condition checks if the script is being run as the main program. App run underscore server debug equals true. This starts the dash development server to serve the web application with debugging enabled. Overall. This code sets up a Dash web application with a drop-down menu to select between two datasets and displays corresponding bar and line charts based on the selected dataset. Now let's run the code. And there you have it. By following this tutorial, 
you've learned how to build an interactive dashboard using Python and Dash. Feel free to customize and expand upon this project to suit your own data visualization needs. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials on Python and web development. Until next time, happy coding!